This competitive video features the 2012 Fleetwood Southwind 32V. We are comparing the Fleetwood to the Winnebago Adventure and Itasca Sun Cruiser. A few items to note that I'm going to touch on throughout is, is basically the construction of the uh, Winnebago versus the Fleetwood and a few other items. The uh, Winnebago uh, is going to offer a one-piece fiberglass roof and fiberglass offers superior strength durability uh, over less attractive rubber roofs. It's also going to have a durable lightweight thermal panel sidewalls combined fiberglass high density foam block insulation and the inner wall surface with aluminum support structure. Also one thing that you'll have on the Winnebago is a metal substructure to secure cabinets and appliances to add safety and stability. As you can see on the back here this Fleetwood is going to have a folding step ladder. The Winnebago product actually will have a full length ladder that is mounted, no folding. Uh, also noted here, the exterior storage compartments are rotocast. On the Winnebago and the Itasca, they will be rotocast compartments. However, they will have a carpet uh, uh, overlay on them as well, which provides a nice clean uh, image for them. One item to note on the outside also that we noticed was the uh, unavailability of the exterior entertainment center which would be available on the Winnebago and Itasca. Uh, a few other things to note um, as we measure here the storage pretty shallow uh, about six inches tall and uh, that's one nice thing that Winnebago has done they've actually increased the height of their storage cabinets and also increased the depth so they're not as shallow. Um, from a furnace standpoint we did notice that uh, the Winnebago does have a larger BTU uh, furnace, a 35,000 BTU furnace uh, compared to a 34,000 and uh, those are some of the things that uh, um, kind of uh, set the Winnebago apart. Again no shortcuts, no compromises. Um, you know the electro uh, de deposition coating helps protect critical steel components and also Specially engineered interlocking joints connect the floor, sub sidewalls, excuse me, and roof into a cohesive unit. So nice features of the Winnebago. And again, this compares the Fleetwood Southwind 32V to the Winnebago and I.